a game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe? -to -toe? This is football out of the very top drawer. The game is live in its entirety next on EA TV. Warm welcome to you from the Emirates Stadium. My name's Guy Mowbray. Sue Smith is alongside me for commentary. And it's all about the Premier League here. It's Arsenal and they take on Everton. Well, thanks, Guy. I can't wait for this one today. The atmosphere is buzzing and I'm hoping the football lives up to it. This is how Arsenal line up. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in the centre of midfield and they'll play with a lone striker up front. This is how Everton line up. Yeah, it looks like a 4-3-3 and I think in midfield they'll have one deeper and the other two a little bit further forward. But they also have that option to have the two deeper line midfielders if they do start to get overrun. Great chance here. It might still happen. And away it goes. Well, I thought we were going to see an early goal here. And what a start that would have been for them. But the keeper did so well to keep it out. Looking to put the cross in. On he goes, terrific. White. Odegaard. Good patient builder. What a chance. And there it is. The opening goal and what a bright start it's been. can see it again he hits it so cleanly perfect contact and the keeper never really had a chance it's a fantastic strike one nil then as we get started again gay saka Advantage played, no free kick. Could get it over now. Havertz. Rice. Jorginho. And the keeper makes the save. And really, we shouldn't have expected anything else. Well, yes, he did see it. It's going to be a booking. I like how the ref allowed play to go on there, made the right decision in the end. To the box it goes oh you can't stop them now they've got another in double quick time well let's take another look at this it's a decent delivery into the box and then what a great finish as well it's a good connection with the ball leaving the keeper with little chance it's a fantastic goal Off we go, 2-0 the score now. Now there might be a chance as they keep it moving. Takes it on, not far away. It's not far away, Guy. They're certainly giving their all. They're really pressing to get a goal, and that was close.
Untidy in possession there. That's good, strong play. A chance to cross here. To reduce the deficit. It's there. And the gap is narrowed with time for more to come. Well, if we watch this again, it's all about being alert in and around the box. And when the ball falls to him, he's clinical. That's a really nice finish. And away we go again at 2-1. Jorginho. Rice keeps himself in the way, well held. A decent move, but that's going to be the keepers. Rice, and he's being urged to shoot. Genuine chance. And denied by a top draw tackle. Harrison. Ducore. Staying patient here, but they need to find an equaliser. Alone in the middle. Still with a bit to do. Well, chances won't come too much better than that. So it looks like it'll be advantage to Arsenal at the break. Your thoughts on the Gunners' narrow lead, Sue? Yeah, this has been a decent half in terms of attacking display. Created some good chances, played with a real intensity and a confidence about them. But conceding will have really frustrated the manager, I'm sure. Now, a chance! And that's where it ends, with possession lost. Coleman. And that brings the first half to an end in North London. Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. He's causing problems. Yeah, he's played pretty well, to be fair. He's looked confident and assured on the ball. Gonna need to see an improvement elsewhere on the pitch, though, if they're gonna turn this around. There's the restart, off we go again. A chance to get in behind with that. The approach play looked encouraging, but good defending to snuff out any threat. Martin Erdegaard. The counter looks on here, options available. Erdegaard. Jorginho, Saka, this is another good-looking attack, this is great to see and now needs an end product, White, Havertz, McNeil, could be something happening for them now. Lovely ball, this could lead to something. Good patient build-up. Picks out a teammate. Having a try, but well watched by the goalkeeper and not one for the highlights. Just take a look at the stats. Hasn't been good enough, has it? Whether it's the end product or the final touch, it's been poor. This will have to improve if they want to get themselves back into the game. Could get it over now. 
The ball is lost, and the chance has gone too. Well, they could get caught out on the break here. Mikolenko. There's a sense of real urgency to this attack. It's played into the box. Saved and held on to as well. Leandro Trossard. Rice. Havertz. But nothing doing with that effort. No, it's not a bad attempt, that Struck it well, but the keeper shifted his feet quickly and would have saved it, I'm sure. And that's where it ends with possession lost. Tarkovsky. Coleman. That looks a really good ball. Kanjuma. Able to skip past his man. But that's where it ends with the ball won this time. Tarkovsky. Not long to go now. Have they done enough here? Just edging it. I think they've just about been the better side. They've taken the chances when they've come, and on the whole, defensively, they've been okay. They just need to keep possession in the closing stages to see out the game. Oh, what a good stop to keep them in this. Well, that could have been game over. Time really against them now, though. And it's a short corner. Jesus. Martin Odegaard. Onto Rice. Allowed to go a long way with this. And it's all over with the Arsenal fans able to celebrate the win and the three points. Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. It was a real competitive game. There were chances at both ends. And they probably just about edged it overall, though. Deserved the result, in my opinion. Well, he's put in a more than satisfactory shift over the course of the game. What's your assessment, Sue? Yeah, a good performance, but then we wouldn't expect anything less. A solid six or seven out of ten. And he certainly played his part in the results.